All right, so let me quickly summarize the CAN signaling. These points I have taken from Texas Instruments documentation, so I, I will just brief you. So the signaling is differential, you know that, okay, which is where CAN derives its robust noise immunity and fault tolerance. And balanced differential signaling reduces noise coupling and it allows for high signaling rates over twisted pair cable, okay and balanced means that the current flowing in each signal line is equal but opposite in direction so resulting in a field cancelling effect that is a key to low noise emissions so that is one of the advantage of differential communication now the use of balanced differential receivers and twisted fair cabling enhance the common mode rejection and uh, high noise immunity of a CAN bus the cable is specified to be shielded or unshielded twisted fair with 120 ohm characteristic impedance. Okay, so that we call Z0 or RL. So it is very important that your CAN bus has to be terminated by 120 ohm resistor on each side. Okay, otherwise the network may not work properly. So that is actually mandatory. So while doing our example projects, I will show you. Uh, the whatever the transceiver module you get in the market they actually come with 120 ohm characteristic impedance so you need not to connect it separately because most of them come with 120 ohm resistor but you have to check the schematic of the transceiver module what you buy from the market okay you have to make sure that it has that 120 ohm otherwise you have to connect externally all right so i will see you in the next lecture